vinegar. And soup inside. Very sweet. This is much sweeter than Shanghai soup dumpling. So we know it. A lot of feelings. It's pork. Swanson. Let me have a bite in. At least this one is not so spicy, uh, so sweet. It's more to our flavor. Taste about. This is very sweet. Peach flower. <laughs> you can definitely feel the spring right now, right here. This must be Li Hu Li Lake. They even got a boat ride from this park garden all the way to a island in the lake. Hollow tree. It's a little windy, but the lake still very calm. Really like a mirror, reflecting all the green leaves and pink flowers. Around this pond, there are four pavilions. Two, three, and a four. Beautiful. Watching the koi fish, watching and feeding the koi fish, having a cup of tea, a perfect location. Right now I am in one of the four pavilions. huge Chinese pavilion with upturned eaves. A man-made rockery. Man-made. Before I go in, it feels like maze. Yeah, it is like a huge maze. with a K. 
Many gardens in this part of China, the owner loved to build buildings in the shape of a boat or a ship by the water side. So this one is Lianfang. Looks like a ship, boat, by the water. Lian is a lotus, Fang is a boat. So lotus boat. Very peaceful. Love the stone. How oh, imagine how much work it took to build such a beautiful stone lined path in the old times. This is China. This is the things China famous for. Cherry, cherry blossom. And Chinese the corridor, long corridor built by the lake. <laughs> Stretching all the way to there. It's a pretty long corridor by the water. It's perfect place to have a walk and have some exercise after full dinner service. The owner of a Li Garden was Wang Yao Qing. He was a national industrialist, the manager of a wheat flour factory in Shanghai. And Wuxi was his hometown. So after he made a fortune, he came back to Wuxi, built this garden and this Spanish style of a house, villa. And still, 
in good condition and this I think today is part of a hotel behind this high-rise building is the hotel rooms so peaceful and you you will be amazed by this combination mix of Chinese garden and European style houses so many like a national industrial list in China 1920 1930s they built a European house with a Chinese garden in Shanghai especially in Shanghai very popular it's nice mix. Name is Xi Shi, one of the four beauties in history of China. So, Chinese use a word Chen Yu to describe her beauty. So, when she was looking into the river, lake, the fish was dazzled by her beauty. Then, then forgot to how to swim, forgot how to swim and sink into the bottom of the lake. So that literally means Chen Yu, sinking the fish, make the fish sink. <laughs>